So, this one changed from what it was originally booked, but that's okay. I guess, it's kind of, I guess Vince is in the booking. That's supposed to be what it is. Vince is doing the booking. All right, so this one turns out to be The Hurt Business, Muhammad Hassan versus William Regal from The Islanders. So we will get this set up and ready to go. So The Hurt Business by That's Bogus and Islanders Death Ray. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Hurt Business from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 231 pounds, Mohammed Haas Orr. Highly anticipated matchup. The competitors in this one have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. Hurt Business sitting there down at the bottom right now, close to the bottom, with only three points. Islanders sitting about middle of the way, sitting about fifth place with 12, so... A little bit can help here. Uh oh, Hunter's giving promos. Says, Andre, you got lucky. This is AJ. If you was fighting the phenomenal one, you wouldn't be so lucky. Hey, well, what does it have to see about that? Because uh, AJ's kind of tiny like Tommaso there, Hunter. And that's what I'm training the big man for. So the Hurt Businesses, Muhammad Hassan... Going against the Islanders, William Regal will be out here in a little bit. If I miss music options, Twitch really needs to understand game music would be that. Representing the Islanders from Blackpool, England, weighing in at 200 and. William Reed Gow! We talk a lot about locker room dynamics. You'll never hear a single negative... Well, but you got to remember, Hunter, even though God help, didn't help Tommaso that much. Give Tommaso a little bit of win. Back in his cells, but lo and behold, you know, 500 pounds drops an elbow on you and then turns around and sits on your chest. You don't tend to kick out twice. This is a match he's craved for quite some time. He's ready and raring to go. Tommaso did use his speed in that, but now it's up next for the Islanders. William Regal versus the Hurt Businesses, Muhammad Hassan. And Hassan just runs right through him. It worked. Yeah, they tried. Real quick lip. Whoa! Scooped up by Muhammad Hassan into a power slam. Dropping that head into the mat. And hits him with a high knee right across the bridge of the nose. And stomps onto the face. Her business living up to their name. Oh! Buries the knee into the back of the head of Regal. And Regal's taking a breather outside. Hassan's kind of soaking it in. He takes a leap. Oh! Suicide dive from the back. Sending Regal forward. Titan trying went on about something. Distracted Hassan. That was enough for Regal. Hooks him one. Two. Oh, a kick out by Hassan. I don't know whose Titan Tron went off, but that was enough to distract Hassan. Oh, check it out in the news. See what they say. Kick out by Regal. Oh! Turn midair. Again off the top rope on Regal. I don't think Regal was ready for this much flying. Ref's count has started. Now oh, he's got him up in a torture rack. Spins it into that neck breaker. Doesn't look like Hassan's eager to get Regal back in yet. Sends him into the staircase. 
her business. Definitely living up to their name, Regal, buying some time. Kevin Dunn pressed the wrong button. It might did something, but I just irritated Hassan a little bit more. Hassan at a count of six coming back in. Leaves Regal standing. Might not be a good idea. Hassan's thinking about going back after him. Ref slow with the count to eight. Nine. Now Regal might not recover. No. Got off the wall, but got dizzy. And at 10, Hassan almost goes back out to start the count back over. All right. Her business with the win gets the point. Interesting. Right here, right here, it's 10. Audi slides. Yeah, I hope you're lucky when we see one or two stars on this one. It was definitely the result of keeping their head in the game in this one. See, the distraction didn't even phase them in the Wonder who's Titan Tron went off, though. 